party at four. That's right. <laughs> a little chilly for it, but yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> we'll heat that pool up. Yeah. Hey Matt, um, just uh, you know, uh, where it has it settled in that you know you're y'all not going to the playoffs now, and it's uh, things you want to play for now. You're playing for pride here, I guess, going down to this last. Week. Yeah, it's always you know disappointing. Um, you know, when, when you don't have the opportunity to get into the playoffs and keep going. Um, you know, but we still have one more opportunity to go out there and, and try and play as well as we can uh, against a division opponent, good rival, um, who's playing for a lot too. So it's going to be a good challenge for us. But it certainly stings. It's disappointing. Uh, you work so hard all year to try and give yourself a chance to play. And when it's, you know, it doesn't shake out, you're disappointed with it. But um, still things to improve on, ways to get better, and things to build on for the future. Coach has been getting us off and looking at number in the offense and so forth. How do you feel that it's grown or developed or progressed? And you know what, what would Mike year two look like in the same system? Uh, you know, I hope year two looks like more wins. You know, that's that's basically all that matters. I think, you know, one of the things I think we did a, a good job of all year was just trying to win with the guys that we had and uh, finding a way to, to, you know, create problems for defense every week. And, um, you know, I, I, I expect that that's going to be the same moving forward. You know, Art's going to do the best he can with the guys that we have. Uh, and obviously personnel always changes. You know, that's, that's part of this league. But, um, you know, I, I anticipate him doing a great job of, of trying to find ways to win with uh, the players that, that we have and being multiple, giving lots of different looks, making it hard for a defense to, kind of pin in on, on one certain thing. And how, um, I know you're not the GM, but how would you feel uh, getting Corderell back? I, you know, I've, I've loved playing with him uh, this year. You know, he's a great teammate, uh, brings great energy to the locker room, onto the field. Guys, you know, feed off of that for sure. And so, um, you know, obviously as a teammate, I hope he's back. And uh, I think we all do. But um, I also know... <laughs> Also know it's a business, and, and there's you know uh, decisions, tough decisions that have to be made. But as far as wanting him back as a teammate, of course, you know he's he's been a great teammate. Thanks, man. You've been uh, or you've you've worked with lots of different play callers and head coaches, and what has this experience been like this season with Art in like learning his scheme and kind of being a a leader for his offense and for his team? Yeah, I've enjoyed it. You know, I, I really have. I've enjoyed learning, you know, some new things, some some different things than what I've done, you know, in previous points in my career. Um, you know, I've I've enjoyed. You know, everybody's got a different flavor, a different perspective, and uh, you know, trying to get on the same page as quickly as possible with people is uh, is important. I think you know, Art and I have done a good job of that this year. Uh, but as far as you know, my my take on it, I've I've really enjoyed you know playing for him and. Um, you know, I think he's he's done a really good job of of trying to create the environment, the culture that he wants uh, to build on, and um, you know, I think there's a good foundation there for us. Thanks, Matt. Can a, can a good week and, and game on Sunday impact the next season at all, and impact the, the mindset, whether it be how the coaches approach this week, how players approach this week, or is that too far away in terms of next season? I mean, the momentum part of it, I don't think that necessarily carries over. But, um, you know, you just you have to continue to, to work and, and, and grow and build. So I think from that standpoint, we can. You know, we got young players that, you know, every time they go, it's, it's a learning experience. There's, there's another, um, you know, tool in their toolbox to, to use as you move forward. You're learning things every week, whether it's guys like Kyle, how much he's grown and improved throughout the year. Every every time he plays, he's learning so much. Same thing for our young guys up front, Jalen Mayfield, uh, Matt Hennessy. You know, th those guys, games are invaluable for them, and, and those reps are invaluable. And I think uh, it certainly helps, you know, individual players uh, as they move forward in their career. Every time you, you suit up and you get a chance to play, it's, it's a learning experience. Do you, do you have any plans at all to, to, I mean, just kind of looking forward, but working with those guys in the offseason at all? Uh, we'll get there, you know, after after this week. You know, I think right now the focus is is still on having a really good Wednesday uh, and making sure that, you know, the, the part of the game plan that we're installing today, we're locked in on. But as far as the other stuff, you know, I can wait until, you know, we're, we're finished. When you uh, 
when you take the, 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 the playoffs kind of out of the, um, uh, the, uh, the uh, motivation for, for some guys, do you want to kind of identify who's still working hard this week, who isn't? Is, like, is this one of those moments where you can see whether guys are, 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 like, are going to stay with it or maybe take their foot off the gas? I think for certain teams, yeah, you know, you, you would find that out. I don't think we're going to have that issue in our locker room. We got guys that, you know, come into work every day and have been consistent about that from the start. Um, yeah, but, you know, sometimes that's human nature, but I don't think we've got those guys in our locker room. You guys had uh, some turnover on your line to start the season this year. You're, the sacks are down a little bit from the last couple of years, but you, the Falcons have given up the most quarterback hits. Um, how would you – Great, the, the protection that you've had this season. Do you see signs of, of progress that encourage you for next year? Ah, uh, definitely. You know, there, there's there's improvement. You know, obviously across the board, we'd all like to have done things better. Uh, but I do think our guys up front have gotten better, have improved. Uh, we've gone against some really good fronts. You know, all year, and, and they've they've had really good challenges week in and week out. And uh, you know, I do think that there's been growth there, and I'm excited about you know what those guys are going to do for us moving forward the environment and culture that Arthur's trying to build. How would you describe that? I think he wants, you know, tough, tough, competitive football players, guys that, you know, regardless of, of circumstances, continue to go out and fight. And I think we've done that, you know, throughout the year. Uh, guys that um, are high football intelligence, you know, smart players. I think, you know, he talks about that all the time and trying to grow and develop guys and improve their, you know, football intelligence all the time. Um, and, and, you know, I think that's really the, the baseline for it. And then, you know, obviously adding different guys that, that fit that mold is going to be important for us as we move forward. I want to go back to what you were talking about where you, you said that you feel like as a team that you have done a good job of trying to win with the guys that you've had. And, and I, I may be thinking too much about this, but like in a year one scenario where you're installing a new, new offense, does it almost make it difficult to find an identity and to evolve as an offense kind of as you're dealing with that? Or do you feel as though that there has been evolution even with that being the case? I think there's definitely been evolution, you know, of, of some of the things we might have started thinking we were going to do uh, in OTAs or training camp. You know, you, you evolve. You, you, you shift to, to the guys that you have. And uh, the year, every year is like this. You know, you, you start with the group of guys and then for whatever reason there's injuries or whatever. You have to adjust, and, and you've and you've got to find ways to uh, allow the guys that are in your building to, to be at their best. And everybody's skill set's different. You know, what, what everybody can do is different. And so um, I don't think it's been any more difficult because it's year one in the system. I think Art has done a great job of, of you know, teaching and uh, giving the guys the reasons why, what we're trying to do, what, what, you know, what we're trying to expose, uh, those kind of things. I think he's done an excellent job of that. I think, you know, <laughs> you just look at the, some of the players, right? Some of the guys that, that are impacting. You look at the growth and development of, like, Kyle Pitts. Um, you know, unknowns of CP, Mike Davis, those guys, not really knowing, you know, you have an a anticipation of what they might do, but they've turned into, you know, who they've been this year. And uh, certainly up front, too. You know, I think growth and improvement for Jalen Mayfield, uh, Matt Hennessy, Chris Lindstrom, you know, both our tackle, those guys, you know, playing together uh, in the same run scheme. I thought we started to run the ball pretty well, uh, pretty effectively later in the year. I think that was growth. So um, I do think we're a different football team than we were at the beginning. You, you said Arthur has, uh, you know, implemented the offense well. Are there, are there other things this season in your first year with him that he's done well or things that stand out to you? Yeah, I think leading, you know, it's, it's important, you know, I talk specifically from the offensive side of the ball, but you talk about the culture, you know, that, that he wants to, to bring, whether it's in the locker room, but also with the front office, the entire building, you know, creating that culture and environment that he wants to create. I think you feel that, you know, and I think he's done a really good job of that. I think we've had to navigate some different things throughout the year uh, that have come up and, and keeping guys together and keeping guys focused. Uh, I think he's done an excellent job of that. And so, you know, all in all, you know, I think he's done a really good job in his first year. In terms of the, 
the challenges of, of your career, second year dealing with COVID, obviously it's, you have vaccines and things like that. Where did, how challenging has this year been as you compare it to the other years? I mean, it's, they're all different, you know, every, every year brings its unique set of challenges and opportunities. So they're all different. I don't know as though it's more difficult than in any other year. You know, I think, I think one of the things everybody, you know, has learned is to be more flexible, you know, in the last two years of understanding that, you know, it's, it's not always going to be smooth sailing. So I thought, I thought from that standpoint, we did a good job. That, that wasn't really much of a challenge. You adjust, you adapt, you try and do the best you can with the circumstances that you're given. And uh, our organization did a great job of trying to navigate that. How have you seen Felipe Franks develop as quarterback? I think he's, he's worked hard. Um, just, you know, command of the system. You know, you see him in practice calling plays, getting in and out of the huddle, understanding what we're trying to do, uh, being way more comfortable in terms of his progressions, the timing, those kind of things. Uh, I do think he's he's gotten better through the year with that. The other things that he's asked to do obviously take away some of his time. Is there a positive to some of those things in terms of his quarterback development? I think anytime you're on the field, right? That just that, that comfort level of being on the field, being out there playing. Uh, he's got he's got a unique skill set in that you know he's got the ability to do some of those other things which help us you know as a team he played special teams for us did a nice job with that so uh, I think just the comfort level of being out on the field playing those games I think that's stuff that can help him um, the, um, the Saints uh, Cam Jordan it looks like Davenport's playing uh, getting his feet under him in the NFL what are the challenges you all face with their pass run? I guess it's been mighty hot here with uh, 7.5 in the last three games. Yeah, they're, they're, they they do a great job. They've got good players, you know, good good players up front. Uh, Dennis Allen does a good job with their rush schemes, you know, trying to create advantages for their guys, giving you different looks, making it challenging uh, on your rules. And, um, you know, I've, I've always had a lot of respect for, for their defense and, and how they operate. And Marshawn kind of the back, kind of tied together for them? Yeah, I think, you know, Demar Davis is, is one of those guys that he's an energy setter for them. You know, he, he, he's a really good player, physical, tough, smart. Uh, Lattimore in the back end, very talented, you know, good ball skills. Um, you know, always always been a tough player to go against. We've seen, um, we've seen um, uh, Kyle Pitts do some crazy things, but just in terms, like, of the basics of, of, of being um, – Quarterback friendly, him being on time, him like running the routes the right way. How is he doing with, with, with those types of things that, that fans may not notice? He's getting better, you know, every day. And uh, I give him credit. He's worked really hard all year. It's not an easy year. That first year, um, you know, after he finished at college, you get ready for the draft, it's just nonstop. And I've been impressed with him of, of his capacity for, for work, you know, the capacity to, to push through some of the boredom, the, you know, the, the grind of the day to day, you know, uh, he's done a really good job of that. And I think, honestly, I think his practices the last four or five weeks have been some of the best of the year, which is impressive. And, um, but it helps those little things. It helps the details, you know, when you, when you can work like that. And uh, he's done a good job of that. All right. Thank you. All right. Appreciate Thanks, it. Matt. Thank you.